We're back in the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. Tom Lydon sitting in for Justin Rose today. Psyched to be with Keith Nickel and Matt Derry. Lots to chew on. We always appreciate your feedback on Twitter using the 7 Sports Cave hashtag. And let's bring in Mike Foss. Why not? He's oh, the, the one boss. who's been monitoring it. The Boss Foss. What's going on on social media, Michael? Hey, very good morning to you guys, Tom. Always great to have you back here in the cave. And uh, we'll have you back next week, too. Let's get to what the people are saying about Michigan and Michigan State football on Twitter using that hashtag 7 Sports Cave. We start with Doug saying, it's still a great season for MSU, but he's excited for Block M's new era. Liz with uh, sort of a common thread of, during the Michigan State game last night, feeling like it was the longest game ever, or maybe just feeling that way because it's Maryland. And a good question from Raymond, kind of tying back into that Notre Dame Northwestern game we were just talking about saying, what does it say about Michigan football when you were watching the Notre Dame Northwestern game last night, guys? What well, did it say about Michigan? They weren't playing, so you know, there was, well, there no. was an open window. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I guess because Michigan played both teams and uh, you know, I think that that's where he's kind of going okay. with that. But I mean, to be quite honest, Notre Dame to me of the three, Northwestern, Notre Dame, and, and Michigan, Notre Dame is clearly the better team of all three, if, that, if that's what he meant by that. The problem is they can't stop anybody. And to show that Notre, I think maybe her point too is Notre Dame gave up 43 to Northwestern. Michigan didn't even get in the red zone against them earlier in the year. It didn't score a <laughs> single point. So I guess that shows that Michigan football is still a ways away. I, I saw firsthand watching the Michigan State game just how much a referee can control the game. It was so frustrating to watch. They were indecisive, going to replays consistently, yeah. slowing down the pace. How tough is that on the sideline? It's painstaking, He's, especially for the guys who aren't playing, right? The guys who are maybe waiting to rotate in or something, they're getting cold on the sidelines. But even as a player, you just want to get going. And even the TV timeouts wear on you a little bit, the momentum, all these things are cut off by, by refereeing. And uh, it, it can get extremely frustrating. What about the fumble? Mar Mark D'Antonio was upset about. Oh, Kick yeah. return fumble. It was clearly out before he hit the ground. Michigan State clearly jumped right. on it. And they took ten, five to ten minutes to replay it and said, right. yeah, Maryland keeps the ball. D'Antonio was like, what? Made no sense. With None an explanation right. that there was no immediate recovery. I mean, what's more immediate than a second and a half? I right. put the stopwatch on the 16 it. replays you have of the guy in white <laughs> on top of the football. All right, we're going to step away again real quick. When we come back, we're going to talk some Michigan football as they get set to face Maryland next week. What's in it for the rest of the season with Michigan? Can Brady Hoke possibly save his Don't job if he runs the table? We'll talk about that. He's got an opinion, obviously, when we come back.